Defensive driving and cell phones, are they compatible? Defensive driving courses teach drivers of all ages how to drive safely to avoid accidents. One of the most predominant problems a defensive driving course tries to eliminate is distracted driving. Over the last few years, I'm sure the majority of us would agree that cell phones have become the biggest distraction for all drivers. We all know of the potential and dangerous outcome, yet we continue to use these unsafe driving habits. In the 1970s and 80s, car phones and cell phones were being introduced. Technology continues to advance, making it possible for several improvements to our cell phones. This includes internet, email, GPS, and the ability to download thousands of applications. Whether you'd like to admit it or not, almost everyone has moved their attention from their wheel to their cell phone at one point or another. A distraction while driving is anything that keeps you from paying attention to the road. When you look at that screen, you're taking a chance because your attention is shifted from the road. This severely slows your reaction time and brake speeds and increases the chance of being in an accident by 400%. Accidents on the road have increased over the years, not just in Texas but across the nation. Thousands of people are killed and injured every year because drivers are using their cell phone. Many states in the U.S. have made laws about cell phone use while operating a vehicle. In Texas, there is no statewide ban on cell phone use while driving. However, there are some restrictions. These are listed on the Texas Department of Transportation's website. They are, Drivers with learner's permits are prohibited from using handheld cell phones in the first six months. Drivers under the age of 18 are prohibited from using wireless communication devices. School bus operators are prohibited from using cell phones while driving if children are present. In school crossing zones, all drivers are prohibited from using handheld devices. While there is no statewide prohibition against texting while driving, many cities have enacted ordinances against it. Some examples are Arlington, Austin, El Paso, Galveston, and San Antonio. Practicing defensive driving techniques when it is convenient for you isn't enough. Up until now, you may have a perfect driving record and be a great driver, but it only takes that one time. When I was attending high school, cell phones had just become a common thing amongst students. As you can imagine, cell phones had definitely become a problem because of the classroom disruption it caused. I remember one of my teachers going through their syllabus on the first day of school. He was telling everyone to turn their cell phones off in his class and said, let's face it, you were just not that important. I would bet almost all the phone calls you receive can wait till you get to your driving destination because they just aren't that important. At least not important enough to risk your life or the life of others. Thank you for listening to a sense of humor driving.com. For more information on this and other defensive driving subjects, please visit us at a sense of humor driving.com forward slash blog.